breast online as well as with our CMY Central mobile app and on the bottom of the screen here on NBC3. But right now, just some light rain. I think we can deal with this. Uh, we have seen a good amount of rainfall. Let's look at the statistics and say so long to the drought that we've been in in portions of central New York. Now, officially, it was abnormally dry for Syracuse. But let me tell you, my lawn, it was starved. It is brown. It is coming back to life thanks to this rainfall. How much? Well, we picked up about two tenths of an inch of rain two days ago. Another half inch yesterday, half inch or so today with more to come. That's getting us pretty much near normal for the month of July and above average for the year. And we've got plenty more where this has come from. Our rain impact, well, we want to see the rain, but we want to see it the way it's been most of today, not causing issues with flooding. There is a heavy threat or impact from the rainfall this evening. It may settle down towards 9 o'clock through 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning before late night that begins to ramp up. And especially as we go through tomorrow, the midday, the lunch hour, and the afternoon commute, that could be on the severe side. So the threat will be growing as we go through the next 24 hours. Here's Fossil Service experts live triple Doppler radar. We've got some moderate to heavy rain in west eastern sections of Wayne County. Pretty good rain coming down around Fairhaven, Cato. Great news for all the farming industry, those on well water out the countryside. Heavy rainfall pushing into southern Cortland County, just to the west of Marathon, coming up towards Greek Peak and eventually Cortland as we go through the next half hour. That's all moving south to north. We've also got some heavy rain in Herkimer County. Let's go a little bit wider and you'll see the motion south to north, and this pattern is going to be repetitive tonight. Tomorrow, looking ahead, you see there's more rain all the way down to the Carolinas. So here's what you need to know. The rain train, as I've been calling it, continues to bring in the moisture from the south. High humidity, too. Numerous storms tomorrow brings a high flood threat for tomorrow. If we see too much too quickly, creeks and banks and, uh, and uh, creeks and streams that normally are a trickle could be really raging there uh, briefly. Then the sun returns and things should settle down with a touch less humidity Thursday. So the future cast at 11 o'clock periods of rain, embedded thunderstorms. Really what you see is what you get close to a washout for tomorrow. That rain threat ramping up during the afternoon could be a gust of wind. See those storms? They will begin to move off during the evening tomorrow and that by late tomorrow night we get some partial clearing drier weather, maybe some fog. So your forecast 72 very much Muggy, a bit breezy tonight with periods of rain and thunderstorms. The flood potential continues. We've got a flash flood watch south of Onondaga County, but that may be expanded. Periods of rain, storms tomorrow, continued risk for flooding. Very humid in 81. Still humid and warm on Thursday, just a little less so, 85. Mainly dry with sun and clouds. Scattered storms Friday, less humid, cooler on Saturday. A few showers and storms. My pick day, Sunday dry, 80 degrees and very pleasant there as well. So we've got some